then. So, uh, what was your favorite part about filming season one? Someone go. Ah, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, my one of my most like fond memories, I guess, of filming was the first time that we got to film the 1999 sequence, and we had been filming in the present day for a while, and like the first time it was kind of revealed was like when Alice comes out of the pond and she comes. Um, onto the farm property and Colton is revealed and Elliot's revealed and Teen Cat's revealed and I, it was just as it seemed on screen in terms of like how amazed I was by how the transformation that they'd created in the world and um, it, it just kind of like gave me uh, something to come back to of like this is so magical and I can't let that kind of like get away from me and it was really beautiful so I kept that with me the whole season Aww. <laughs> um, yeah I, I there's it's hard to pick you know it's always a question what was your favorite moment there's so many favorite moments so it's always a hard question because you don't want to be like ah. um, but I yeah the discovery of um, just these characters and their relationships and and you know these two who haven't seen each other in, in <laughs> like 15 plus years and kind of uh, having the opportunity to go backwards and see how everything really originated and how it started um, was awesome because you know when you're when you get to watch the show and you weren't in the teen version of you yeah. scenes, mm -hmm. yeah. then you go back and you watch and you're like, duh, like that was amazing. Like yeah. I, I'm learning something, you know, from this. And those, I think that's always fun though, when you don't, you're not working in a scene and then you get to see your to other, see you know, your friends, families, you know, work was always, it was amazing. I thought they did a beautiful job in 99 as mm -hmm. well. Right. Yeah. I think uh, there's so many moments to choose from, but for me it was really gratifying to have in episode 8 Elliot oh. and Kat finally yes. get together Can, because yes. I think the, the writers did I such a I was going to say that but you didn't want to steal it I didn't want to steal it it's so funny I think the writers did such a good job with the push and the pull and actually because we get to see the same characters as kids mm -hmm. we see all their internal gears starting to move so yeah. uh, we, we have a sense that it, we've waited that long and it's more tangible than just saying they've waited that long right. so we, we really yeah. get and I think audiences were really rewarded by that as well and, and we pushed it oh, we, pushed yeah, it. we pushed it pretty, yeah, they, pretty they, far they had to yeah. convince Seeing us Kat and yeah. You, yeah you see him as a teenager just wishing that she would pay attention to him and yeah. she's just like thanks buddy like all yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so crushing, crushing, crushing yeah and we had like what 10 minutes to film that entire thing because yeah. we were losing the light and it came together so magically and mm. so beautifully and I think yeah we only did a handful of takes yeah. and they're just like okay well you know just just play it how you really see it and how you want to see it and we're yeah. just like okay well we're going to give them a we, run for their money. We just went for it. We just went for and it. And it was one of those, like, it was movie magic because yeah. it was one of those ones where if we didn't get it, right. that would have been it. Like, the, yeah. we, we didn't have a chance to do it over, and the sun was perfect in the sky, right, right. and it was just one of those really fun awesome. to be an actor that day. Yeah. That's awesome. It's also fun to work with Kyler yeah, Lee. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Great, thank you. Uh, what are the challenges when you're playing a character who's also being portrayed by uh, another actor? Do you have, do you have regular get-togethers to discuss... Uh, your mannerisms and things like that. How, how exactly does that work? And what challenges do you face doing that? You, you did more of a process. Then. Yeah, well, it, at the beginning of the show, we were also hampered by still being under COVID protocols, course, up, yeah. shooting up in Canada, so uh, some of it was limited, but we kind of did whatever we could. David Webster, who plays uh, young Elliot, and I, we did some Zooms and figured out mannerisms and things as best as we could, but I would also say, to a healthy degree, we lucked out with yeah. the casting being exceptional, uh, just an exceptional match. And uh, I think the younger cast uh, had the opportunity to, to review a lot of the tape. And so uh, it's just about getting specific with um, the way uh, the body moves and the, where the energy centers are, trying to yeah, just let it be small but natural. Organic, yeah. So it's like an ongoing thing, process as well as you've been filming. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And I think the two of them continue to to have it, like to look at what was filmed in the first yeah. season and yeah. take stock of what was established and like kind of where we're headed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also the writers too are melding us. Like yeah. they, they yeah, see things totally. that David does, they, 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 and young cat does, and they're sort of everybody's weaving. Yeah, yeah. It's a multi weave. Yeah, a multi weave. You know, it's a, a multi weave. It's, it's, it's your classic multi weave. <laughs> <laughs> Just a classic. Yeah.
that old thing. Yeah, <laughs> as one does. So Tyler and Sadie, for you, the two of you, so often in television, you're not filming in chronological order. And for this first season, you were doing two episode blocks. How challenging it was it to tap into your characters' emotional journeys as they're discovering things from the past and they're bringing to the present? How did you get back? Good question. The continuity supervisor was like the biggest thing for us because because it was it was challenging. I'd never filmed two episodes at once. It was it was usually just one, and maybe they overlapped by a few days or whatever. And, on past projects, but for this one, it was like, whoa, that it, it's a lot, because you do have to keep track of so much, and and there is, you know, this continual weaving, and when you don't really know <laughs> super far ahead, it's it, the choices that you're making now as an actor will somehow kind of like be either uh, proven or you know later, or you kind of go, oh no. <laughs> Um, so it was yeah. definitely challenging. I, I know I, for myself, needed help to keep things in order. And I, I also feel like, like for me playing Alice, I have relationships with people in the past and people in the present that are the same person in the story. But to Alice, they had to feel really different because it's like that was kind of the crux of her, like confusion or, or kind of like pain about like not being able to relate to her mom in the present and so I felt like what helped me keep it a little bit more organized was really seeing um, like teen Kat and teen Elliot as separate people almost because as things unfolded it became harder and harder to to untangle that that they weren't this that they were the same people who I was kind of at odds with in the present um, and so that that kind of added fuel to the fire for me at least but yeah the details it, it's a team effort it's yeah, it's not absolutely it's the two of us it's the three of us it's also like uh, David Webster who plays Teen Elliot he like really takes on the role of the details often too and mm-hmm. so we kind of lean on each other inside of the scenes and then on top of that just like the creative team is there for us always so I, I find the show's chronology weird because it's like the past is 25 years ago, but we all know 1999 was just 10 years ago. Exactly. Right? You guys know what I'm talking right. about. Right, yeah. yeah. 100%. Um, so did, did you reach out to them at any point and be like, was this really what it was like in the 90s? Or did you guys find yourself saying like, oh no, you have to say this this way or you have to wear this because that's how it was back then? Um, did, you know, is there any pointers flying back and forth about what it was like? The writers did a pretty good job of researching, I think. Mm-hmm. And like they also are, they're writers who grew up in that time. Like, yeah, so they're Alexander speak, Clark. They're speaking about their own experience. Exactly. Right. And uh, so that was a nice thing is you and I are vintage of that age. <laughs> okay, know. I'm fine with vintage. Yeah, I'm fine yeah. with that. It's a wine. <laughs> fine wine. Yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Someone said a fine <laughs> cheese. I was like, you never. <laughs> no, no, don't, not no, a no. cheese, a no wine. Cheese. Don't ever say that. Yeah. Very good year. <laughs> yep. Uh, but I think it's, uh, it's cool to go back and be able to relive some of that stuff, sure. it still feels weird to have that sister called Hazel as like, moment in the car. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's weird to have that be called retro, you know? I like it's me. it's very strange. Yeah. Right. But I <laughs> imagine it will only get stranger. <laughs> yeah, it'll only get stranger. A few things that you had said along the way. I can't, oh, I, yeah, I can't think of. There was a few of, little like like, like if I had to use like technology and stuff in the past, they'd have to like explain it to me before like because it I I, I don't know and also but the, the, the great thing about it was that Alice was meant to be discovering this all in real time and the challenge for her was like like she tries to tell Kat that she's time traveling and she laughs in my face mm-hmm. so I have to kind of like be like yeah yeah I, I know what that is like and I might not have right. or Alice might not have so it, it kind of yeah. added a little I didn't have to study too hard it was it was kind of like again woven in there. Are we saying weaving? Multi-weave. It was multi-weave. Great. Well, there seems to be, with your show and also there's the recent film, Totally Killer, which has this whole Back to the Future kind of vibe thing going on again. Uh, when, you, when you've when you been looking at this, was what, what drew you to the project initially? Was it the... Was it the, the the family drama, or was it this time travel element, which seemed like a bit more of a challenge, maybe, or what was it? That, that I, was the I think those were obviously very um, true to uh, kind of the the heartbeat of it. But the fact that we had the opportunity to do something and, and flip everything on its head for Hallmark yeah. to be able to see something and represent something that's grittier, more emotional, more raw, not pretty. Yeah. Like I, there, I know there was moments for myself just physically going like I don't even want to watch that scene because I probably have snot coming down my face and like we just wanted to keep it as real as possible and authentic, 
And so I think for us to have been able to give them that opportunity and really open up the the audience and show people that hey this isn't just Christmas movies which we all love like don't yeah, don't yeah, deny yeah. it but oh, like you need to watch that, a little you know, Christmas yeah. movie they have their own yeah, yeah 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 no it's yeah, true yeah. but that but to help you know uh, give Hallmark a whole different side mm-hmm. and opportunity to reach audiences that might not have never done so before sure. mm-hmm. and to be breaking new ground like there's a there's a reason that this show is now at New York <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. which we're very yeah, proud of and very excited and uh, hoping that even more uh, volumes of people are going to come and start enjoying the show because I think when you're doing something in artistic it thrives on exploration so for me I just began to salivate at the idea of doing something that hadn't been done before mm-hmm. and specifically for my character the idea of playing a guy who has been kind of caught in a time loop who has been uh, uh, had his future foretold for him mm-hmm. and how, how to sort of figure that out mentally and uh, deal with it is uh, was really exciting to me. Yeah.